So our research is about uh, looking at DNA mechanics and also at DNA protein interactions, RNA protein interactions using single molecule techniques. Uh, and in recent years, we've focused a bit more looking specifically at DNA and RNA replication in different organisms, so viruses, bacteria, and yeast. Uh, and mostly what we do is we look at individual proteins, so helicases and polymerases and their dynamics uh, in order to understand their mechanism. And in the context of replication, we also try and see how these proteins interact with each other. So previously we would do either for spectroscopy experiments where we would look at the effects that proteins would have on DNA or RNA length and then be able to deduce mechanism from that or we, or we would do single molecule fluorescence experiments but we, we had never done both. And then finally when we started to look at more complicated protein systems such as replosomes then we actually really needed to see directly what was going on and so the C-TRAP's ability to apply force and simultaneously allow you to do the imaging was for us became essential and it's really easy to use to do in this instrument so that makes it even better. So now we can really see the motion of proteins along stretched DNA. We can control the force because sometimes that's important uh, and we're far away from the surface so all that put together really makes new kinds of experiments possible. Our biophysics approach is really a, is a single molecule approach, of course, so that in contrast to biochemistry, we get much more, um, well, we get much more precise information at what's really happening at the molecular scale. Um, but there's also, for instance, electron microscopy, where people can also get really amazing insight into uh, molecular structure, but there it's harder to also get the dynamical insight. Uh, so uh, the optical tweezers combined with the um, single molecule fluorescence detection in real time really allows you to get very a very precise dynamical view. Well, we study processes such as uh, DNA and RNA replication, of course, uh, and that has many implications ult ultimately, right? You want to understand DNA replication in the context of cancer and it's linked to, to DNA repair. We really study the fundamental mechanisms, um, but those are very important also in the you know, practical development of, of drugs that act, act against these, uh, these processes. So while we ourselves will not be making that step, we definitely are in contact with people who do that. Mm -hmm.